Hello everybody, my name is Lewis at the Cult of Ones, and today we're going to talk about horror art, specifically why it's so unnerving, and how a picture, a video, or even a story can send our imaginations spiraling into a land of nightmarish creatures and horrors beyond our world. Moreover, I want to ask the question, is it the art's content uh, or the artist's skill from which the grotesque nature of these works are born. Now, I'm just a college student who's studying art and seeking to better my skills, and horror art is something that I wish to create as a career, or at least a part of my career. And this question, uh, though weird and somewhat simple, um, started as a search for what makes a horror artist. Was it a specific history, traumas in the past? What did it, what do I lack that these great artists have? And through this project, I did find out that the commonalities between the horror artists that I very much so enjoy and find to be that higher quality, though circumstantially similar, meant virtually nothing towards their skill level. So what was that secret ingredient that I lack? What is the thing that makes an artist good? Was it their skill level? Was it what they're putting in the work? Which led me to my looking into the different aspects of horror and subsequently uh, my research into the grotesque. Author Michael Stieg defines the grotesque as the managing of the uncanny and the comic. This definition uh, can be seen through many different artists, but one who I think is very apparent within their larger body of work is Junji Ito, uh, specifically with his fascination in horror and a perfect example of the uh, uncanny in the comic would be that of Uzumaki, with the simple concept of a spiral twisted into something horrifying imagery of warping bodies and the human figure distorted into uncanny forms. And Junji Ito himself sees the grotesque as fascinating. In an interview with the online news source Grape, Junji Ito, when asked why horror and specifically the grotesque was so intriguing to him, he states, something which is a bit different from human, not animal either, and yet exists in our world. Rather than scary, these things are thrilling and fascinating to me. So then, is it this fascination with the grotesque that makes horror artists so compelling? I mean, interest alone definitely drives excitement and care for one's craft. But I needed more information. So, in my search for this information, I decided to reach out to some artists whose work I believed to be grotesque, or at least thought of um, to fit that description, or at least fit into the definition of which I found. And of those artists, Geba Lutras, or in real life, Gabriella Rainier, uh, responded, and thus I conducted a little mini interview. And in this interview, I asked her what she views horror art as, in the literal sense. And she states, Horror art is any type of work meant to create an atmosphere of fear, discomfort, or disgust. It is a means of provoking deeper thought. Though this is a personal definition, it does answer part of my question. And in applying Rainier's answer to our current understanding of what horror art is, the horror of art is the art's effect on those who view it. It is in that deeper thought provoked by the work's content in which the grotesque can be found. This, however, only serves to complicate things further, as if it is the viewer who dictates what horror subjectively is, then does the artist's hand have any influence? And that leaves me with more questions to be researched and more digging to do. And digging I did. 
So within a breakdown of Kristeva's work done by Dino Filuga, an English professor at Purdue University, so sorry for putting those names, who teaches comprehensive literature courses, I found the concept of the abject, or more specifically, the human interaction to the threatened breakdown in meaning caused by the loss of distinction between subject and object. And thus, if that is the case, then it is that reaction to the abject which can trigger feelings of horror. So then, if it is imagery which impacts the viewer of a piece, then it is the artist's choice in imagery which then dictates the response. But in the same breath, if a blurry picture and poorly recorded voice, oh so common, in analog horror can elicit the same feelings as that of viewing Junji Ito's mangas or Rainier's uh, illustrations, is style and technical skill still important to the art of creating horror art? Though it might be a little bit boring to ponder this question, I'm gonna now take us away from it and bring us to the background of this video, that being a time-lapsed documentation of sorts of a piece that I made. Um, am I a good artist? That's neither here nor there. Am I skilled enough to capture the grotesque? Then I ask you, audience, is that something that you see in this work? Is the grotesque something that is as intangible as it, I'm making it out to be, or is it a viewable response? And to critically look at my work, or at least the current work that I'm displaying, I have yet more questions. But before I ask any more questions, I want to bring up the fact that I have brought up three different mediums so far. Those being video, book, and what we consider physical art. Each are unique in the way that a viewer experiences them. Is it not the suspense of a page turn in which the horror of a novel is found and the imagery created by the words in which the grotesque is formed? But what we consider conventional art relies heavily upon what we can and cannot see as viewers. It is upon the skill of the artist that the viewer experiences the horror that they can create. And with that, my question is revealed. The question of technical skill being a necessary part of displaying horror. If we look back into history, to the era of the Black Plague, some of these pieces show the world of the Plague's era in grotesquely fine detail. In each horror is captured in realistic fashions. But what it seems to be is that the art of horror isn't solely linked to the technical skill. It is the medium of which it is captured that dictates the level of technical ability or skill required to capture or portray the grotesque nature of horror. Thank you all so much for watching. It means a lot to me that you've stuck around to the end of this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more content like this. Once again, my name is Lewis from the Cult of Ones and I will see you all in the next video.